Welcome to this educational program. This module discusses cryptorchidism, also known as undescended testicles. This information is taken from a recent review of the medical literature and attempts to be as comprehensive as possible. However, it may not necessarily reflect the experiences of your healthcare provider or the specifics of your situation. This program is strictly informational in nature and no attempt is made to provide opinion or recommendation. Please feel free to view this presentation as many times as necessary. You may also use the player on your left to repeat slides or to skip through them in any order you wish. Cryptorchidism is a medical term used to describe undescended testicles. It is typically diagnosed during an examination after birth or at a checkup shortly thereafter, and it can affect one or both testicles. In about 10% of the cases, both testicles are undescended. Approximately 30% of boys born prematurely and 3 to 5% of boys carried to term will have cryptorchidism. In many cases, by the time the baby is about 3 months old, their testicles will have descended on their own. Less than 1% of baby boys will have undescended testicles after 3 months of age. While still developing inside the mother, the testicles of the male fetus form inside the abdomen. The testicles gradually move downward to the scrotum, the sac that hangs below the penis, usually by the time the baby is born. If one or both of the testes does not get into the scrotum by birth, the baby has cryptorchidism. It is not a painful condition, but should be watched closely for several months to see if they do descend on their own. If not, the baby should be treated. During a routine medical examination at the time of birth, the doctor will check to see if he or she is able to feel or palpate your infant son's testicles inside his scrotum. If the testicles can be felt, they are said to be palpable. If not, they are non-palpable. If one or both of the testicles are non-palpable, they might still be inside the baby's abdomen. They could be too small to feel, or they might not be there at all. It is rare for a testicle to not be there at all. A testicle may also be retractile, which is different and not considered to be undescended. A retractile testicle is one that can sometimes be felt and sometimes not. In these cases, you may have observed your son's testicles down at some times, especially when bathing, for example, and then absent at other times. This happens because of a reflex contraction of muscles in the cord supporting the testicle that occasionally and temporarily retracts the testicle from the scrotum into the groin or abdomen, particularly when the child is cold or frightened. In this case, the testicle descends normally at puberty and surgical correction is not needed. The causes of cryptorchidism are not well understood. However, several factors are associated with an increased risk. These include having a close family member, like a father or brother, with a history of cryptorchidism. Other risk factors include low birth weight or premature birth. If an infant's testicles have not descended on their own within several months after birth, then he should be treated. There are several important benefits of treating cryptorchidism. These include improving fertility later in life, making examinations for testicular cancer much easier, and reducing the psychological concerns about the absence of visible testicles. These benefits are discussed further in the next several slides. The main role of the testicles is to produce male hormones and sperm. However, for sperm to develop, they need a cooler temperature than is found inside the body. That is why sperm production takes place in the relative coolness of the scrotum. If cryptorchidism is not treated, the child may grow up to be infertile. This means he will not be able to father a child. An undescended testicle is more likely to develop a tumor than one that has descended naturally. Also, when a testicle is in the scrotum, it is quite easy to examine either by the man doing a self-examination or by his physician. This ease of examination increases the likelihood that if a tumor does develop, it would be caught early. And if testicular cancer is caught early, the cure rate is exceptionally high. Boys can feel very sensitive about their perceived masculinity. Having an undescended testicle leaves the scrotum looking small, flat, and empty, something that can make a boy feel bad about himself and his body, especially during his adolescent and teen years. Treatment can help prevent these feelings from occurring. 
The treatment for an undescended testicle is surgery. It is usually performed from about 6 to 18 months of age. Human chorionic gonadotropin hormone, or HCG, is sometimes used to treat retractile testicles to speed the normal process of them moving permanently down into the scrotum. This hormone in turn helps the testicles make the male hormone testosterone, which might move the testicle into the scrotum. Injections of HCG are typically given into a muscle like the buttocks and are administered twice a week for up to five weeks. Side effects that may occur include increased folds or creases in the scrotum, increased skin pigmentation or coloring, penile growth, pubic hair growth, and aggressive behavior. These are the same types of changes that may be seen around the time of puberty. The side effects go away when the treatment is stopped. Surgery for cryptorchidism is usually performed by the time of the baby's first birthday or shortly afterwards, and is often done on an outpatient basis, meaning that no overnight hospital stay is required. If the baby has other medical problems, or if both sides need to be repaired, a hospital stay may be necessary. The procedure is called an orchiopexy, or orchidopexy, and the baby will be given anesthesia so he sleeps through it. Many undescended testicles are also associated with a hernia, which is repaired at the same time. Prior to surgery, your doctor will discuss the planned procedure. There are several things to take into consideration in the surgical treatment of an undescended testicle. First of all is the approach that the surgeon will take. If the testicle can be felt, a cut in the groin will be made to perform the repair. However, if the testicle cannot be felt, the surgeon will first look into the abdomen and groin with a surgical telescope called a laparoscope. If the testicle is very high up, a so-called two-stage repair may be required where the surgeon first frees up the testicle as much as possible, then waits for it to develop some more, and comes back at a later date to try and bring it down into the scrotum. Sometimes, if the testicle is tiny and not very functional, it may be best to just remove it. And finally, in very, very rare instances, an ovary is found instead of a testicle, in which case there may be a gender condition called intersex, where the baby carries both male and female genes. This will require further discussion with your doctor in taking next steps. Again, this is a very, very rare occurrence. When you arrive at the hospital in the morning, you will check your child into the admitting area of the hospital, then proceed to the surgical area. In some cases, you will be able to go to the operating room and remain with your child until the anesthetic is given and he falls asleep. The procedure itself generally takes about 60 minutes. As mentioned, there are different ways to perform an orchiopexy, depending on the situation. Your surgeon will discuss your son's situation with you and advise you what is most likely going to take place. Sometimes, however, the situation does not fully declare itself until the operation is begun and the testicle is located. If the testicle can be felt, but is in the groin instead of the scrotum, a procedure called an inguinal orchiopexy may be performed. This is where the surgeon makes a small incision or cut into the groin area and scrotum and pulls the testicle into the scrotum. This figure shows the location of the small cut that is made in the skin. During an orchidopexy, a hernia sac is often encountered alongside the blood vessels going to the testicle. If this is found, it is closed off to prevent a future groin hernia from occurring. The testicle is then brought down into the scrotum and anchored there with stitches. If the testicle cannot be felt, a diagnostic procedure using a laparoscope will be used first to find out where the testicle is, or to confirm if it is there at all. A laparoscope is like a narrow tube with a camera on the end. It allows the physician to see into the body without having to make a larger incision. If the testicle is found, the procedure becomes therapeutic, and the physician can continue with surgery to bring the testicle into the scrotum. After surgery, you should keep an eye on your son's surgical site for signs of infection. This includes increased redness, swelling, or drainage. Care should also be taken to protect his genital area from injury for at least two weeks. This includes avoiding riding toys, like rocking horses or tricycles. Tylenol can be used for discomfort, and products containing aspirin should be avoided due to increased risk of bleeding associated with aspirin. 
Even when an infant has been successfully treated for cryptorchidism, his risk of developing testicular cancer is higher than in males whose testicles descended naturally. It is important that men who have had an undescended testicle have regular medical checkups throughout life. Additionally, the surgery to correct cryptorchidism may have required certain blood vessels to have been moved. Having a vasectomy may impact the blood flow to the testicle. If a man who has had surgery for undescended testicles wishes to have a vasectomy, he should discuss this issue carefully with his physician first. Cryptorchidism is a relatively common occurrence, especially in premature baby boys. We don't know exactly why it occurs, but we do know it should be treated. Surgery is used to treat this condition. Without treatment, the baby could grow to be infertile and have a greater risk of developing undescended testicular cancer. There is a very good chance that successful treatment for an infant with cryptorchidism will result in normal sperm production down the road. However, because the risk of testicular cancer remains higher, testicular self-examination and routine follow-up with a physician should be part of his lifelong routine. These resources may help you find further information about cryptorchidism. We sincerely hope that this module has furthered your understanding of cryptorchidism. We wish you the best for the future, and thank you once again for viewing this educational program. ...view of the medical literature, and attempts to be as comprehensive as possible. However, it may not necessarily reflect the experiences of your healthcare provider or the specifics of your situation. This program is strictly informational in nature and no attempt is made to provide opinion or recommendation. Please feel free to view this presentation as many times as necessary. You may also use the player on your left to repeat slides or to skip through them in any order you wish. Cryptorchidism is a medical term used to describe undescended testicles. It is typically diagnosed during an examination after birth or at a checkup shortly thereafter, and it can affect one or both testicles. In about 10% of the cases, both testicles are undescended. Approximately 30% of boys born prematurely and 3 to 5% of boys carried to term will have cryptorchidism. In many cases, by the time the baby is about 3 months old, their testicles will have descended on their own. Less than 1% of baby boys will have undescended testicles after 3 months of age. While still developing inside the mother, the testicles of the male fetus form inside the abdomen. The testicles gradually... Welcome to this educational program. This module discusses cryptorchidism, also known as undescended testicles. This information is taken from a recent...